A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Monday of the second week of Easter. Our Mass Reciter is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran, Jr. SVD, Associate Priest of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Monday, of the second week of Easter, before we continue our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you conquered death and darkness by rising from the dead, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you brought pardon peace to the sinner by your death and resurrection. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to be born from above to life in the spirit. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of your heavenly Maker. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain fully? The kings of the earth took their hand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, 
take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant Jesus as they prayed the place where they got they were gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the Word of God with boldness the Word of the Lord thanks be to God blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord why do the nations rage and the peoples utter fully the kings of the earth rise up and their princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord he is who he who is strong in heaven loves the Lord derides them then in anger he speaks to them he terrifies them in his wrath blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord I myself have set up my king on Zion my holy mountain I will proclaim the decree of the Lord blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord the Lord said to me you are my son this day I have begotten you ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession you shall rule them with an iron rod you shall shatter them like an earthen dish blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord we shall now honor the Holy Gospel please rise The Lord be with you and with your spirit reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you O Lord there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus ruler of the Jews he came to Jesus at night and said to him rabbi we know that you are a teacher who has come from God for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless one, one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man, once grown old, be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit <coughs> is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born with the Spirit. <clears throat> this is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Noon na unso yung mga born again. Akit sa bus, tapos sasabihin, Ikaw ba, ligtas na, kailangan ma-born again ka. Kung balikan natin sa Greek, yung sinabi ni Jesus, iba kisa sinabi ni Nicodemus. Ang sinabi ni Jesus, unless one is born 
from above. Si Nicodemus naman, how can a man once grown old be born again? Born from above ang kay Jesus. Ang ibig niyang sabihin, everyone who is born of the Spirit is born from above. At paano ito in the concrete? First reading. And as they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. So yan yung pagkaunawa ng Catholic Church ng born from above. Sari-sari na rin kasi ang mga pagkahulugan na binibigay ng born again kasi isang daang libong denominasyon ata ay ang mga protestant sects. Eh. Mayroong iba dyan, malapit na sa katoliko, partner ko sa bambu at saka sa environment. Yung iba naman, hindi raw maliligtas ang mga katoliko sapagkat sumasamba sa mga Diyos-Diyosan. Ang hirap na malaman kung alit dyan sa kanila ang tama. Babalik tayo sa katoliko. Born of the Spirit. So they were all filled with the Spirit and continued to speak the Word of God with boldness. Yun ang pagbabago. When they were born in the Spirit, yung mga duwag ng mga apostoles, nagtakbuhan, nagsisinungaling pa, hindi ko kakilala yan si Jesus, sabi ni St. Peter. They continued to speak the Word of God with boldness. Kahit patayin pa, hindi sila natitina. So, everyone who is born of the Spirit, sabi ni Jesus, ay parang kaisa niya like the vine on the branches. So, if you are born from above, you are born of the Spirit. You are given courage to proclaim God's Word. To proclaim the Kingdom of God. In the concrete, tagal nang tinuturo ng Catholic Church. Prayer and good works. Yan doon mamalalaman kung born from above ka. Una, prayer. Quality, hindi quantity. Gusto ng Panginoon, we grow in prayer. That we can lift up our minds and hearts to God without distractions. Kailangan ng disiplina yan. Maniwala kayo sa isang tumanda na na naghihirapan pa rin magdasal. Si St. Benedict, pagpasok sa chapel, sasabihan yung mga thoughts niya. Marami siyang problema. Nagpapagawa ng simbahan doon. May makulit doon na mo. Sabihan niya yung kaniyang mga thoughts. Diyan muna kayo ah. Huwag niya akong isturbuhin pag nagdadasal ako. So he could lift up his mind and heart to God without any distractions. Yung mga Eastern mode of prayer, mayroon din silang pamamaraan. Yung mga Tibetan monks, may pamamaraan yan para hindi ma-distract. Kasi baka magparamihan lang tayo ng rosary, two million Hail Marys, Maganda din yan. Pero kung ang puso mo, iba naman ang iniisip, sasabihan ka ng Panginoon, These people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far away from me. You are not born of the Spirit if you do not grow in your prayer life. Quality, not quantity. So manalangin ka na sa Panginoon. Nabibigyan ka niya ng liwanag ng Espiritu Santo para malalaman kung you grow in your prayer. Na hindi nga paramihan na lang ng nobena. Iyon ang born of the Spirit. Malalim ang uri ng panalangin sa pagtataas ng puso at diwa sa Diyos. Pangalawa, sa turo ng simbahan, one who is born of the Spirit bears much fruit. 
Kay St. John din yan. And by their fruits, you shall know them. Kung anong gawa mo, dyan malalaman kung born of the Spirit ka ba. Ay kasi dapat, nung bininyagan ka, born from above ka na. E minsan, baby pa tayo nung binibinyagan tayo. Halos hindi na natin naintindihan kung ano ibig sabihin ng pagbibinyag. Sabi ni Jesus, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Yun yung binyag. Of water and the Spirit. Strengthened ka na dapat yan. Ay, ang dami nating nabinyagan. Sabi pa nung isang theologian, nabinyagan lang yan, hindi kristyano yan. Tsapagad, yung effects noong pagbibinyag, hindi nakikita sa buhay nila. So ngayon lalo, kailangan tayong magbunga ng marami. Paulit-ulit ko nang sinasabi, huwag ninyong kalimutan ang background, ang context ng ating pagiging Easter people ngayon, sa context ng ating being born from above, born of the Spirit, COVID-19 na gumrabe pa ngayon, hindi ko maintindihan. Yung Facebook ko, halos nagiging obituary na. Father Ben, dasal mo sa ganito, kamamatay lang. Father Ben, nasa ICU si ano. Paano nangyari yan? Hindi, isang taon na hindi naman ganyan yung aking messenger. So, hindi tayo nagbubunga ng mabuti. Baka tayo ang may kasalanan yan. Baka hindi rin masyadong magaling yung namumuno sa atin, pagdasal natin para mapawi na itong COVID-19. Ang Amerika, sa June 15, normal na raw sila dahil 200 million na yung nabakunahan sa kandila. E dito sa atin, wala masyadong magandang plano. Hindi natin alam kung kailan niya. So tuloy-tuloy tayo na MECQ, ECQ, kung ano-ano na lang na adverb ang ginagamit, bagsak ang ekonomiya. Diyan tayo dapat magbubunga rin ng mabuti na we became creative para hindi mamamatay sa gutom ang ating mga kababayan. Naninikluhod ako doon sa mga middlemen na negosyante, huwag nyo namang patungan ng napakalaki. Buhay ang pinag-uusapan ngayon eh. Mamiya, makubid kayo eh. Yung tubo ninyong inaasam-asam, walang makakakuha niya. Mamamatay kayo rin eh. Yan ang bunga ng born of the spirit. Businessman ka, kikita ka, pero nakakatulong ka rin sa iba. So, konkretong-konkreto po yan. Huwag na nating pagdebatihan. Are you born again? May batsihan yan eh. Kumusta ang prayer life mo? Baka magaling ka lang sa mga talata, kabanata, kapitulo, versikulo ng Biblia, pagkatapos hindi ka naman tumutulong na mapakain yung mga mahira. I was hungry and you did not give me anything to eat panhanagutan natin niya. So let us pray today that our lives will be transformed because we have been born in the Spirit. That we will grow towards deeper forms of prayer as we lift up our minds and hearts to God. That we will be creative enough to craft strategies so that we can vanquish the virus so that we can help those whose lives were disrupted by the economic collapse and we can prepare better for the ravages, for the destruction that climate change is going to cause after this COVID. 
So ipanalangin ninyo, mamaya mayroon kaming National Bamboo Summit. Panalangin ninyo na magkakaisa lahat yung mga nagpapahalaga sa bamboo against climate change, against flooding and erosion, magbibigay ng hanap buhay sa mga tao at pagkain. National Bamboo Summit sa NCR at saka Southern Luzon. Magtatanim tayo isang bilyong kawaya. Pag natanim natin yan, ang daming makapagtrabaho, daming makakakain, ang daming hihigupin na greenhouse gases ng mga bambu na yan, mas magaling sa, sa kahoy yan, magsipsip ng carbon dioxide ag iba pang greenhouse gases. Yun ang ipanalangin natin sa Misa ngayon, Monday, second week of Easter, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, we are born from above because we have been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We have become children of God. As true co-heirs with Christ, we can come to our Father with confidence and pray that we might grow in prayer and good works as His children. Let our response be, Abba, hear your children. Abba, hear your children. That the church on earth may be drawn together to reflect the perfect unity of the Trinity. The community of divine love, we pray. Abba, hear your children. That baptized Christians may grow in the fullness of Christian life, we pray. Abba, hear your children. <clears throat> that those who are slaves of fear may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God, we pray. Abba, hear your children that we may work to bring non-believers to faith and baptism, we pray. Abba, hear your children. That our departed brothers and sisters may be raised to the glory of the Holy Trinity, we pray. Abba, hear your children. Heavenly Father, as we offer our prayers, draw us into the communion of the Spirit, who dwells in your children, and the Son, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to so acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Special Eucharistic prayer number four, Jesus who went about doing good. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, Lord our God, because you love us and you always walk with us on the journey to the future. Blessed indeed is your Son, the risen one, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens scriptures and breaks the bread in the Eucharist. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth the Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine. That they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, gave you thanks, Father. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, 
and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love till he comes again, and we offer you, most holy Father, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation. Look with favor in the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, perfect faith and charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesta of Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people who have been born in the Spirit. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are heavily burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at His command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, peace and justice, that everyone may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. And meet them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is over that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Guided by the Spirit, let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven and the words Jesus, our risen Lord himself, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against <coughs> us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> this is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead, conquered death and sin. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you be pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection to Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them help in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to have those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities. 
but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Hoth of the Sea, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Freinadimets, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the risen Christ. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi Leitare Alleluia Chia Que Meru Isti Portare Alleluia Resurrexit Sicut Dixit Oh. Uh -huh.